folks, in this short video, we're going to set up our Cribble search environment to connect to our AWS S3 object store and start searching data within it. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to data and data set providers. We have to create a data set provider, which essentially tells Cribble where to query and what access credentials to use. Let's click create provider in the top right and select Amazon S3 as our data set provider type. Once you do that, you'll see a number of new fields open up. Let's go ahead and give this data set provider an ID and description. You'll notice here there's two authentication methods that are supported. First is assume rule in which Cribble search compute gains cross account access into your AWS environment by taking on a role in your account with the appropriate level of permissions. The second is through a combination of an access key and a secret key. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the first method, assume role. So we'll need to create a role and the appropriate policies in our AWS environment. But before we do, Let's take a quick peek at the two items we're going to need. First is our trust policy. This will be the policy that allows our Cribble search compute to assume the role we're about to create in our AWS account. One thing of note over here, there is a field called external ID that needs to be populated. If you do plan on using this, just be sure you update it to something relevant in your environment. The second item here is the permission policy. This is the policy that's going to give explicit access for our role to access our S3 bucket. You'll notice a couple spots here to update with the name of your S3 bucket that you want to search. Let's copy both of these policies as we're going to need them shortly. From here, let's go ahead and switch context to our AWS console and navigate to the IAM service. We're going to start by creating our resource policy we're going to use for the role. So let's navigate to policies and in the top right, create policy. Let's toggle the JSON button on the top to expose the JSON editor and let's paste the policy here from our Cribble search screen. I've edited mine to reflect the S3 bucket I plan on searching. Once you're done over here, click next and give the policy a name. And let's create that policy. Perfect. From here, let's navigate and create a role. So at the top right again, click create role. And we're actually going to select a custom trust policy and use the policy that we had copied from Cribble search over here. Once you're done here, click next and let's tag the access policy we had just created. Let's give the role a name. and click create role. Let's go ahead and find our role. And once we do, you will now see the ARN that will be important for setting up that cross account access. So let's copy that over here and return to Cribble search to continue configuring our data set provider. With that ARN, we can now populate the authentication section down below. If you are using an external ID, just make sure you populate that second field. Once all of that's ready, we're going to hit save and our data set provider is ready to use. The next step is to set up our data set. This will tell Cribble search which data specifically to search from our data set provider. So we're going to click on add data set give it a name and description. Uh, 
and let's select the provider we just created. Once we do, uh, we will see a couple extra fields pop up. Uh, the first is bucket path. This will be any prefix within your bucket that you want searched. In my case, I have my bucket name as well as an archive prefix um, and then some tokenized time-based uh, prefixes that I want to add. If you have any path filters um, you want added, you can go ahead and add them into your path filter. Uh, and this field here accepts any JavaScript expression. Lastly, let's toggle to processing. Here is where we can specify any specific data types we have for that data. In my case, I have some logs nested within an underscore raw field. So I'm going to use the cribble search underscore raw data type and move it to the top. Order of operation matters here. Once that's done, let's hit save and our data set is ready to search. So you can either navigate back to the home page and start a search there, or you can leverage the search action button on the data set page to get started. Once you do, it'll pop up in a separate search window here and return any search data that you have from that S3 bucket. So there you have it, some logs returning from my S3 bucket with Cribble Search. Thanks for joining.